What's up guys, back now the kind of super video and in today's video we are on the JP side to talk about the new weapons that Global are getting. So, if you didn't know, patch notes dropped yesterday and big, big update. We are getting the new elemental weapons. Pretty much what that means is there is a upgrade to all of the elemental weapons such as this sword, like the wind sword, right? And it's pretty much a beefier, better version, right? And this is for every single weapon at the moment we do not have the pendant upgrades these are still only on jp the patch should come out in the next couple days for global for the weapons but at the moment we don't have these unfortunately but that is a whole other video we are here to talk about the weapons so what you need for the weapons is you're going to need these little crystal things right you get them from expert quests once the patch goes live, you can get it from the exchange shop. Those expert medals you've been grinding hopefully every day, unlike me, who's missed a couple days. You can use those to exchange. Then you should be able to get them from event boss drops and then events in general going forward once the update is live. So you'd think there's a lot of ways to get them. However, it'll take you a little bit to actually get these weapons maxed. But for now, you just need 20 to craft the first one. And as you notice, the power difference is 114 on the new one and it's 72 on the first one. This is plus zero, but you know, you, you can just, you know, you can see the power difference already, right? So how to get them, of course, you're gonna need the base weapon. So I need the wind blade. Obviously I don't have any materials because it's the JP side and I haven't actually done any hard quests yet on this account. But obviously, if this is a global version, I just whip it up. All right, boom. And then I would need 150 of these materials. I believe it changes. Yeah, it changes. All right, change it between weapons. So make sure you have the right one. And then, of course, the new crystal item. Now, are they good? Are they better than personal weapons? Yes. I'm sure there are instances where, like, if you're using darkness to tank, you're probably gonna want her personal weapon just because it is tankier, but for damage, these are really good. I think Chun Chun Maru is the only one that would probably just outlive. Maybe Leviathan Staff for certain scenarios where your ult is a different element than your typing or and you want to do damage with your ult. Um, but overall, general use, these are gonna be the best weapons, so I'm gonna max them. Uh, the passives on them are pretty strong. So for the base weapon at plus six, it goes up to 13% damage up for like wind, whatever element you're using, right? For the new one, it goes up to 14 and then up to 21 if you're above 70% HP for the sword. Uh, it has the same passive on the staff or if you're above 70% HP, you get the bigger elemental buff. And also for the Lance, you also get that buff as well. So Maid Liam is going to be eating with <laughs> the fire one. She's going to be doing a lot of damage. Unless you want her to tank, of course, like I said, there's going to be scenarios where the personal weapon is better if it's for tanking purposes or if it's something like Jinjin Maru for Cosmo. But other than that, the dagger is a little bit different. It works kind of like Festival, not Festival Chris, Chris's weapon. If the debuffed, you do, more, you get the... Uh, Elemental damage up, it goes 15 to 20. And then the scepter are for healing. And now on to who would be the best one to start out with. Personally, I think the scepter is the best for Festival Aqua. Obviously, if you don't have Aqua, you have not had to go down the list on you know who would benefit the most from it. But Aqua's is really good. She already uses the normal water scepter, right? Just because her basic attack is water or ult that you're using on her is water most of the time unless you're a certain arena where you need god blow but for the most part you are using to crit water so why would you not use a water scepter even better is that the scepters increase healing aqua heals on her basic and her ult so this is going to help her out and she's just going to be doing more damage so this is like a really 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 good weapon for aqua of course if you have her if you don't have her, then it's time to probably think about who's your best TPS. I'd say the swords are, they're good. But if you have Chun Chun Maru and have it leveled up, you can kind of get away with using that instead on certain damage dealers, right? Um, unless, you know, your main team consists of like five sword users, then you probably would have to 
think about getting a better sword. But for the most part, you can get away with Chin Chin Maru. The daggers, right, are also really good. Funny enough, I actually recommend you guys start on... Okay, why is this the water one? Wait, what? Oh, Earth. Alright, well, ignore that fact that it's just wrong materials, but... I think that the wind dagger is probably going to be your best bet to work on after aqua just for when fest chris drops it'll probably be her best weapon it pretty much has her weapons passive in it and it should be doing more damage so you know if you don't have fest aqua or you you know you're content with her weapon or you've already done it and you just have the materials ready i'd work on this as your second weapon and then of course third weapon like i said depends on damage dealers i think overall the most affected uh weapon class by this is going to be the mages mostly because when you think about it right wiz is probably the only exception just because hers heals her and makes her super tanky right for the mages you'd use stuff like unions right only for light rins only for wind ours only for dark you kind of you were kind of gated on what element you were using for that mage so you'd probably use like assassin staff or leviathan right now with this one you have a cracked one look at that i know this is plus zero right but 70 77 right and then boom 114 you're going to be doing mad good damage once you have aqua and chris situated i think the main goal from there would probably be to max all of these of course Pick what ones you're good, like what arenas you're good in. Obviously, let's just say, if you have really good, like, physical wind characters, obviously you're probably not going to want to go for the wind staff because you're using wind fizz and not magical. But I do think that these are probably going to be the best ones because so many mages are going to want to use these over their personal weapons or over the other two. Not saying you can't get away with using these two in the meantime, but if you're talking about, like, straight up meta most damage you're going to be using these if i had to rank on which weapon i would max like obviously the idea is to get a weapon at like every single one have at least one copy of each i would probably say the most important ones are going to be the staffs the scepters right for two reasons most mages well i think well, yeah most mages because some of the mages actually don't they have elemental basics that is going to amplify the damage a lot compared to someone like, let's say, Iris, who doesn't have a uh, elemental basic, unless they're legendary, of course, but they're exempted exemptions from this. They are going to be doing more damage on their basic attack. This is huge for characters like, let's say, Veneer or the upcoming Overlord characters who are going to do more damage and then, you know, heal themselves as well. Because most of the time, if they're low, you probably want to throw out a basic attack to heal them a little bit and they're going to be doing, you know, pretty decent damage because of the elemental up just have to keep that in mind for those characters that's why these two are probably the best after that i'd probably say that the daggers slightly edge out the swords just because the swords have so many good uses you can get away with not having the elemental one then i'd say sword and then probably lances just because the lancers we have are miru leah and mia mia would probably want this the most leah's is like pretty good for tanking it should be fine and then mel's has a pretty good weapon for the thunder version of her of course if you're using a different one it's going to be different but you know i know Mero is the only one we're going to have and she would be in the back anyway so she's going to need a weapon per se so those are the ones i think you should build first let me know in the comments if you have any questions about which one you should be making i'll help you out the most obviously i wish i could show you the damage but i don't actually have them built um i think uh katuma might have it on his channel i have a link to it in the description he plays jp way more than i do uh, so if you want a actual like damage test i'm sure he uses it in some of the arenas he has on his channel so of course link in the description as well check him out other than that that'll pretty much be it for your guide on the new weapons of course let me know in the comments if you're excited if you're dreading the grind it's gonna be a pretty long one but other than that don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next kind of super video thanks for watching